year, the Physiological Society's specialist theme is elite performance. And although this year, many eyes in the Rio Olympics will be focused on two-legged competitors, there are some elite athletes that shouldn't be overlooked. Almost everything we know about racehorse physiology began with the founding of the RVC in 1791 to study the anatomy of one of the most famous racehorses of its day, Eclipse. Eclipse left all his competitors in his wake, season after season. And when he finally died, Betsy had dissected him and found the reason. As you can see from Eclipse's skeleton, he wasn't that tall. Nowadays, most racehorses are significantly taller than I am. But it wasn't his height or his legs that made him a winner. It was his heart. In the official vet report, Vets announced that Eclipse's heart weighed 20 pounds. That was three times heavier than the hearts of other horses of the day. And it even dwarves some of the hearts of today's big race horses. This is a race horse's heart. This one weighs five kilos, but even this is just half of what Eclipse's heart weighed. And a bigger heart means with every heartbeat, you can pump more blood and so more energy and oxygen to the muscles, and this allows them to work harder. This is where the blood is received from the body. So this is one of the atriums. It's one of the chambers on top of the heart. The blood then goes through a valve. The valve enables the blood to go one way, but not the other way. This is one of the valves here with the heart strings. The blood then goes into the ventricles. These are the big chambers down here at the bottom. And there's two sides to the heart. One side is the left, and that's got the really thick wall, and the other side is the right. It's the right side of the heart that pumps blood to the lungs, and it's the left side that pushes the blood to the rest of your body. But size isn't the only way that horses' hearts are well adapted to exercise. Horses are particularly well adapted when it comes to their heart rates. And if you're wondering how we measure the heart rate in a horse, you'd be surprised to know it's very similar to how we would do it in a human athlete. Let's ask Taffy and Vicky to demonstrate. We're going to look at what happens to a horse's heart rate during exercise and compare it to humans. Taffy has been fitted with a heart rate monitor, while Vicky, his rider, is measuring her own heart rate with a heart rate monitor watch. Her resting heart rate was 60 beats per minute. Vicky is now taking him for a canter to get his heart rate up. Vicky is also working really hard to keep upright and to move in harmony with the horse. So her heart rate has gone up too. How's your heart rate doing, Vicky? Um, at the moment, it's at 139. Okay, should we get Taffy and see what his is doing? Yeah. So how did Taffy's heart rate change from rest to exercise? So the differences in resting and exercising heart rates are really interesting in horses. Most horses will have a resting heart rate that's really quite slow, 30, perhaps 40 beats a minute, exactly as we saw in Taffy. They have a fantastic ability to increase heart rate with exercise. When we put Taffy around on the lunge, which is a kind of mod moderate level of exercise, we got the rate up to around about 140, 150. Uh, but at peak exercise, when Taffy's working hard, that rate increases up to around about 220. So around about seven or eight times uh, Taffy's uh, heart rate at rest. And that's much more than human athletes can manage, uh, where most humans would manage three or perhaps four times resting heart rate as their maximum. And it's his ability to greatly increase heart rate, which allows horses to uh, pump very large amounts of blood with the oxygen it's carrying around the body to muscle, where that can be burnt uh, to create the energy for exercise. So a horse can increase its heart rate up to eight times resting, but a human can only do it up to four times. And for the reason behind this, we need to look at how the horse has evolved. Zebras are distant relatives of the horse, and studying them in the wild can give us insight as to why horses need this incredible capacity for speed, when all they want to do is hang around and graze all day. There's one very big problem with hanging around in the African savanna, however. Predators. Although most of their lives they don't need to move fast, on occasion, zebra need to run. Incredibly, these normally sedentary animals can run at 40 miles per hour. The fastest horse on record broke the 55 mile per hour barrier. 
but we humans still lag behind. Even Usain Bolt only managed 28 miles per hour. But experts believe we could begin to close this gap. The more we learn about human physiology, the more elite we become. Which record do you think will break next?